uh, we don't have a problem with uh, another people like uh, Hinduism, Burmese, Chan, Echinkaya, everybody, uh, we don't have any problem. We can stay peacefully, happily, we don't have any problem. Yeah, I like to talk about my experience with the Bengali mobs coming to kill the Rakhine innocent people like me. Uh, so we called my sister just to talk about how it's going on. And then my sister said, eh, by the way, there are a lot of people come out from mosque. Uh, they are yelling and shouting and running through the, our side. And the mosque is uh, on the south. So our house is uh, on the north. And then she looked and then she said, I never see in my life. Oh, they were going to kill us. They're coming, coming through. And then uh, I said, how much, how much? She said, oh, maybe uh, over 10,000, over 10,000, a lot of people. I never see my life. And then she said, oh, oh now they're throwing the rock. They're throwing the rock. <laughs> yelling and shouting is a Naria Tofi Jinaba, Alawakwa Jinaba, and Makarahari. Jinaba meaning is a kind of a blessing for Islam, a blessing for Muslim, like a, uh, Alawakwa Jinaba, they say, uh, a blessing for who believe in Allah and they can be a uh, successful, something like that. Naria Tofi meaning is a to have their religion to grow all over the world, uh, like a jihad, doing the jihad. Makarahari um, means kill the Rakhine, cut the net of the Rakhine. Mobs are coming in front of their house, they are yelling and shouting, and then even they show the knife, come up, we were going to kill you like that, we we're going to kill you. And then um, suddenly they just, open our door and come and stab my husband and then cut my head. They kill my husband and then uh, like a 10 year, 12 year children, our student, they told me before you saying Boda Boda, now your Boda cannot help you. I never forget that one. Even my husband body not moving. Those young children are like a, uh, beating my husband like a toy. I never forget that one, she told me. Every house got burned down. And same village, poor people got died. And, and, and everyone telling me one thing, the same story. A lot of uh, armed weapon Muslim coming to kill us is uh, children in the front. Young children, some age like a 10, between 15, those are in the front. Uh, my ch childhood, I used to hear about the 1942. Every night, my bedtime story is uh, my very hard to escape from Muslim killer, my grandma, grandpa. Um, uh, that time, uh, my mom is uh, pregnant, my first brother, my oldest brother. Uh, our village leader, uh, he called everybody, we have to run away, we cannot stay here, need to cross to the mountain valley or something. So next day, my father come back, Muslim coming to kill my father, my father come back and run, it's my father said, mostly night is behind him like that. My father jumped in the river and then he ran. Uh. Every day I dream in my hometown. I love my hometown so much. Why I have to leave my hometown? I want to come back my hometown. We got killed uh, by Bengali Muslim uh, in our own land and our own house and uh, we don't know what to do. Uh, we don't know what to do.